All right, speaking of revisions, let's add a revision table. So revision table, now typically you'll use a, a template on this and there is an anchor point that will be used. Um, but you know, usually you just click OK and it's gonna automatically put it exactly where you want it. Um, anchor points can be modified in the sheet format. You can just come in here and pick and modify those anchor points so that every time you add one of these, it's gonna be good to go. Revision tables themselves can be saved in the uh, template, the file template for your drawings. So I'm gonna add one here, that way we're kind of ready to roll. Next thing I wanna do is add a standard note. So I'm gonna say standard notes, or just notes. It's my standard notes, but we'll put in just notes in here. And we'll do some standard ones. So like break all corners, you know, 30 thousandths of an inch. Um, here's one that I, I sometimes don't see, but perhaps we need to see more. Unless otherwise specified, uh, you know, build to 3D model, right? Uh, and this is one that, you know, if you're not doing it right now, but you are sending sort of these uh, drawings out to people and sending models with them, it's a good idea to go ahead and make sure to add something like this. In fact, in addition to telling them that specifically there is a 3D model, you could say to a tolerance of 0 0.005, meaning anything that's not specified here is going to be specified in the 3D model and it will by, by default inherit a plus or minus 5,000 tolerance. And then come in and put the file name and that's where I'll come in and say, let's do the model in the sheet. And we're going to do first the folder name. And then we're going to do the file name. And we just click add for each one of those. And so now we have a good idea of where this file is coming from, where this file can be found, what it's called. And a couple things this does, not only does it help people to find the file, uh, but it helps us to diagnose any problem. So if, if this is off of my desktop right now because I'm training. Um, if this was coming from my desktop and it should be in a production environment, that would be a major red flag for me. But by right now, what I'm doing is really explicitly specifying the information that I sort of inherently assume and that everybody just sort of knows about uh, but never really specifies and writes down. So if you're not doing this, this is one of my recommendations. This note right here is standard, right? It's a good starting point. I'm gonna use this a lot of places. I'm gonna come into my design library under annotations and I'm gonna say add to library and this is gonna be my standard drawing note. We'll click OK, and now anytime I need to use that, if I have a, an old drawing or maybe the, the standard note isn't in there or I need to update it, I can just drag this in and it's gonna very quickly add that to my drawing. But because we're creating a template that's gonna apply to all things moving forward, not necessarily and specifically not anything that's already been created. So we we'll wanna keep in mind that. Let's set a few default document properties before we save this. So the first one I wanna look at under the document properties, this whole tab, anything you specify here will happen for every new document you create. So for the first one, I'm gonna say dimensions. I want my primary precision to be three decimals. This is a machining print. Three decimals is definitely uh, important. Now I can go ahead and tell it to link precision with my model, which is an awesome way to just import all the information you've already specified. Next, I'm gonna to go to the detailing tab and I'm gonna turn off center marks, dowel symbols, and connection lines because the connection lines never show up. So I'm gonna turn all that stuff off myself and just tell it not to bring that stuff in. Now, with each one of these, you can kind of decide for yourself which one it works best for you, but this is, this is what I like to see. So we're ready to keep going. Let's click okay on this. 